I am Larry Mantle of Air Talk. Great to have you with us. Susie Bright, joining me on Air Talk, is consented to stay a few extra minutes. She's America's sex expert, going to talk with us about some of the interesting details from her new memoir, Big Sex, Little Death. Susie, great to have you with us. I'm a little nervous. You really? said you were yeah. going to get personal. Yeah, I, like, oh. I, I wanted that to, <laughs> that to happen in this conversation a little bit differently than what we did for the radio. I mean, you've been watching American sexuality for so long. Where do we need to go culturally, in your view, to get to a healthier place about sex? What is that going to take? We really are having a bit of a class war where the middle class is disappearing and, and we have this growing lack of democracy and, and the egalitarian society that was always part of the American dream. So what does that do to sex? I think it takes that hyper titillation and that hysteria about, there's a celebrity, she's on a pole, she's wearing a G-string, somebody call her parents, do something. I mean, that, that hysteria about, you know, sort of sex panics. <laughs> sex panics are part of this class dissociation in America, and I'll tell you why. People are always saying, why, uh, why do the poor, why do the working class, why do they have sex in impulsive ways? You know, if they were thinking about the future, they would wait. They would realize that you need to wait to have sex, because if you wait, then you will be, what? What happens? You have an investment in money, in a legacy, in something that will happen if you don't act on impulsive notions. And your tension about the virgin whore dynamic becomes just a razor's edge. What, what if someone falls? What if someone screws up? They become much more fragile in terms of their own screw-ups, but they try to make a lot of laws and they control the media. So that, that as far as culture is concerned, they want to create this excitement as if we should all care about this. Do we really care if some actress has sex every night and, and is you know, doing funny things with her pubic hair? Really, do you care? Is this what our lives are about? I mean, this, this kind of, of prurient interest in celebrities has always been with us. That's true, but it's funny because I was thinking about this when Liz Taylor died because, you know, I was remembering, you know, she was one of the early gossip icons and I was looking back at old books and magazines about that era. At the same time that you had that kind of interest in celebrities, you had all the hippies and the liberationists and the counterculture people who had a very pressing idea of their own and they would say, you know, we really don't care about Liz and Dick because we're doing something else. Listen to this music. Let me put on this record. And then you would put on, you know, the, the Hendrix or the Grace Slick and you would go, wow, you're right. There is a different world out there that doesn't have to do with, you know, the A-list of Hollywood. Nowadays, we have the same old rah, rah, rah from the tabloids, but where's the counterculture that balances it? We're going to leave on that note. Susie, it's great to talk with you as always. Thanks. Right, I appreciate it. Susie Bright with us, uh, talking about her new book, Big Sex, Little Death, and the Intersection Between Sex and Politics.